When evaluating evidence, there are three things you want to think about. The first thing is you want to determine whether or not the information comes from a credible source. Credibility just means trustworthiness. And so one way to determine that is to take a look at who the authors are, perhaps where the writing was first published, and knowing what the credentials of the author are. Oftentimes in an article, the credentials will come at the end of the article itself. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we're going to get a little bit of information about who our writers are. In this case, our writers are both college professors. The first writer, Giovanni Luca, is an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at the University of South Florida. Our second author is a professor of computer science and inform in informatics and is the director of the Center of Complex Networks and Research at Indiana University. Both of these individuals have credentials that make them qualified to write an article that is about the way that computers or algorithms or social media help to reproduce information that is not accurate. So we see that they both have um, positions or jobs that match the subject matter and we can say that they are both trustworthy because of their degrees and their job positions. The other thing that we want to do when we're trying to determine if an article uses credible information or if we can trust, uh, trust the information is we want to make sure that it's accurate. And accuracy simply means that the information that is found in the article can also be found elsewhere. So this particular article writes about how online social media networks help to reproduce information that is not credible. And we can find this information elsewhere. One of the things that also helps with determining accuracy are the links or the citations that exist within the essay. In an online essay, you're going to find underlined, oftentimes blue content that you can click, which will bring you to the original source where the information came from, as you see here. And that helps us determine accuracy as well, because we can see, okay, the spread of true and false news stories online. We're getting similar information in this study that we were receiving from the article that we were just reading a moment ago. The last thing that we want to do is think about the relevancy of the information. So when we think about the supporting details that are used in this particular essay, they're on topic and they are also timely. Most of the information comes from the 2016 presidential election. That is the example that is most often cited. And the 2016 presidential election, although it may seem very far away now, is still relevant enough or recent enough that we can say this, the information used here is, um, is trustworthy or relevant, and therefore um, this is a source that we can say uses uh, quality evidence to make its claim.